Hey guys, welcome to the first video on data structures and algorithms. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief introduction about data structures and algorithm. So the first question is why do we even need data structures and algorithm? So data structures are so important that every computer science curriculum in the world includes a course about data structures and algorithms. Also, if you have attended any software developer job interview in a good company like Google or Facebook or any good software development company, the chances are that one or a set of questions are asked about data structures and algorithms. Not just that, we interact with data structures on a daily basis. So for example, you open a file in your computer. The file system data structures are used to locate the parts of a file on a disk so that they can be retrieved. If you have searched for a contact in your mobile phone, a data structure is used to look on a phone number in your contact list based upon the partial information even before you finish typing. And this isn't easy without using the data structures. Also, if you have tried to log into your favorite social network, the network server uses your information to look up into your account information. And if you are logging into a famous social networks like uh, Facebook or Instagram or any other famous social network, they have billions of users and you can log into your account in a fraction of a second and this is also possible due to data structures and algorithms and the last example i have about data structure and algorithm is the web search so there are billions of web pages on internet and when you search your favorite word or keyword on a search engine the search engine uses the data structure to find the web page containing your search terms so that's also not easy because this has to be searched out of billions of web pages and the appropriate result has to be served in front of you in a fraction of second it's said that the knowledge of data structures and algorithm is a very big differentiator between a good developer and an okay developer. So the knowledge of data structure and algorithm makes you a better software developer. Now before understanding what is data structure, we need to understand what is data. Now data is a collection of facts from which you can draw any conclusion. For example, if the temperature of the room is 40 degrees Celsius, you can easily say that it's a hot weather. Or if the fuel level in the car is, let's say, 5%, then you can say that fuel level in your car is very low. So you need to fill your fuel tank. So temperature or fuel level is the data from which you can draw these kind of conclusions. Now data can be represented in many forms. For example, it can be represented in the form of text. For example, if you want to have some name or surname or address, you can uh, use this kind of data in the form of text or it can be represented in the numeric form. For example, somebody's uh, ID or age or temperature or fuel level of the car can be represented in the numeric form. It can be represented in the audio form, video form or many other forms. So data can be anything which leads you to a decisive conclusion. Now what is data structure? So data structure is the representation of logical relationships existing between individual element of data. In other words, data structure is the logical or mathematical model of a particular organization of the data. Now, whenever you write a software program, you might have to deal with a group of data elements. Now, there are many ways you can represent these groups of data elements. 
for example by using arrays or linked lists or trees or queue or stack so the goal of the data structure or the need of data structure is to organize the data for example to store the data to retrieve the data to manipulate the data efficiently now let's talk about the data structure operations so as I said, the group of data elements can be represented in many forms, for example, arrays or linked lists or queues or stacks. So we perform some data structure operations on these kind of uh, groups of data. And these operations can be traversing, searching, insertion, sorting, deleting or merging. So what do we mean by traversing? Traversing means accessing each data element exactly once so that certain item in the data may be processed next comes the searching so searching means finding the location of the data element for example key in the structure now the insertion means adding the new data element in the structure deletion means deleting or removing a data element from a structure Sorting means arrange the data element in the logical order, for example, ascending order or the descending order. And merging means combining data elements from two or more data structures into one. Now let's also talk about algorithms. So what is an algorithm? So algorithm is a set of instruction written to carry out certain tasks and a data structure is the way of organizing the data with their logical relationship retained. So an algorithm is created with three important ingredients. First is the input, second is the process, and third is the output. So first you need to provide some data as an input and then you process that data. And from the processing of the data which you have inputted, you get some output and a program is the combination of algorithm and data structure. So what is a good algorithm? A good algorithm must be correct. It must be finite in terms of time and size. A good algorithm terminates. That means it ends somewhere. A good algorithm must be unambiguous. That means a good algorithm is going to give you an idea about which next step it's going to take. And a good algorithm must be space and time efficient, which we are going to discuss in the later videos also. Now let's talk about the classification of data structure. So data structure are normally divided into two broad categories. The first category is called primitive data structure and the second category is called non-primitive data structure. So primitive data structures are basic structures like integers, floats, characters or pointers which are directly operated upon by machine instruction. In general, there are different representation of these primitive data structure on different computers for example integers floating point numbers character constants string constants and pointers etc fall into this category now the second form which is the non-primitive data structure are more sophisticated data structures so these non-primitive data structures are derived from the primitive data structures. So the non-primitive data structure emphasize on structuring of group of homogeneous, that means same type, or heterogeneous, that means different types of data items. And as I already mentioned, lists, stack, queue, tree, graphs, are the example of non-primitive data structures. So this was a brief introduction about data structures. In the later videos, we are going to see the detailed information about different type of data structures and algorithms. So stay tuned and I'm going to see you in the next video.